Greetings everyone, thanks for stopping by on today's video. Um, as you can tell by the title, we will be talking about Jupiter. And uh, yeah, what, what, if it, what if it did replace Earth? What if we took Jupiter, plucked it from its position in the solar system, moved it way over, way into the solar system, put it in the inner solar system, into the orbit of uh, the Sun relative to the position of Earth? Would it change? Would would it heat up too much? Would it displace planets within the solar system? Or would it have any unforeseen effects and completely annihilate the inner and potentially outer solar system? There's a lot of options here, a lot of variables to contend with. And listen, we can but you know have a good conversation about it. Uh, I don't have a supercomputer, but we do have a couple of awesome programs such as Space Engine like we're seeing here and later on We'll be having a look at Universe Sandbox 2. So yeah, I think it'll be an interesting one to say the least But uh, yeah, I, I got thinking about Jupiter a lot and um, watched a really cool show about Jupiter's creation um, recently as well uh, Thanks to all of the information that came from Juno and uh, definitely you should dive into uh, learning more about this fantastic gas giant, this protector of the inner solar system as well. Now, we're very familiar with Earth's orbit. You know, we grew up here. Most of us, I would assume. <laughs> Maybe there's aliens among us. But anyway, um, yeah, so listen, we have the orbital period of a year. We're just in that sweet, sweet Goldilocks zone as well. And I think it, it's it's been doing as good so far since the dawn of uh, our civilization and before through the beginning of life on Earth as well. So maybe in this simulation, I will maintain Earth uh, as a moon, as a Jovian moon, to see how Earth uh, gets on as well. Will it maintain its temperature? Will it uh spin off cause other unforeseen anomalies in this experiment of ours as well so stay tuned for that and listen use the comments below to continue the conversation and speculation and let me know if you have any other suggestions or topics you'd like to see broached in space engine or universe sandbox 2. listen let me know and i'll do my best uh, to see if we can make that happen anyway on to the test we go. So, here we are. We are above and below and all around our lovely solar system. And uh, we can see our inner and outer planets. Now, we're just going to put a pause on this for a second. And we're going to basically move Jupiter, as we said. So, I'm not going to replace it with anything because if we swap it with Earth, Earth will have such minimal effect out here, um, it'll be it'll be negligible. But what I am going to do is pop Jupiter in here. We're gonna get, we're gonna remove Earth as well. So um, let us add and let us do is in orbit mode. Uh, gonna put you right on the same plane. Get rid of you. But we're not done with you, Earth, because we're going to have Earth orbit Jupiter as well, as, as, a, as a Jupiter, a moon of Jupiter, a Jovian moon. So let's arbitrarily just, uh, let's say 300, okay? Um, so yes, there we go. We have our super awesome and very attractive uh, Jupiter now in the position of Earth in relation to the Sun. And we now have made Earth a Jovian moon. Hello, Australia. Indonesia, Singapore, and all those lovely places. India. Hello, everybody. Over here. Can't barely see anybody. Can't even see Ireland. 
So yes, greetings to all the viewers from around the world. Russia. Where else do we have here? We have Africa. You know, Iraq, Iran. Loads of places. Egypt. Eastern Europe. All those fun places. So greetings. Greetings everybody. So yes, here we go. We have Earth, the Jovian moon, Jupiter in the place of Earth, and the sun as normal. So let's just see what happens. Uh, let's just keep the speed the same. And let us try and focus on. Do -do, there we go. So we're going to slow down this a little bit here. To see what's going on. There's a little Earth shadow there. Earth, how are you doing? Do, do, do. 21 degrees. 20, yeah, we're doing okay. We should sure probably be a little bit warmer anyway. Due to... Gravitational stresses as well. Just as the Earth has an effect on the Moon. Jupiter would have an effect on Earth in this situation as well. So... Let us highlight the sun here, and let's see what happens. Now, as the likes of Mercury and Venus and even Mars come into, you know, direct opposition. Not, not opposition, it would be the other way, wouldn't it? Um, at their closest points, would Jupiter have any effect on the system? So we're doing, you know, three days every second here in game. Here we have Jupiter on a closest, that'll be the closest point to Mars. Venus. Ooh, Venus again, very close there. In the scheme of things. But nothing too crazy. It, se it seems okay so far. Now long term... We definitely would have, because, you know, Jupiter is known as, you know, the, the big brother of the solar system. Um, it's, its force is felt far out in the solar system. And it took a brunt off a lot of the uh, impacts and kind of protected the, the inner solar system a little bit from, um, you know, rogue comets and asteroids and stuff like that as well. So uh, there's definitely advantages of having planet that size in, in the outer solar system uh, but so far so good here let's zoom in no major things and listen there's nothing to say uh, an inner planet can't be a gas giant I love watching those patterns of uh, orbits like obviously orbits are you know circular or elliptical but when you see them on a linear path it just looks like any other waveform, which is cool. So you have your peaks and your troughs. And uh, you'll always have a little bit of a wobble with Jupiter as well. So it's not on a, a solo flight here either. So Earth will have a minimal effect on Jupiter also. But uh, Earth, how, how are you doing? 17 degrees. Oh, yeah, everyone's everyone be doing okay, I'd say. Let me just slow down here a little bit. Do 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 do. Now it'll be interesting though because I don't have or moon in this simulation as well, so there will definitely be other effects. But uh, it'd be a hell of a sight though. Earth being a moon <laughs> rather than its own fully fledged planet here. Absolutely crazy. But uh, so far in this simulation, we're doing A-OK. -okay. Let me highlight back on the sun there a little bit. We start speeding up our sim. Now we're going to hit simulation bottleneck here based on the CPU I have. There we go. See if we can get any little bit more juice out of it. So we're like seven days.
But uh, yeah, I was expecting maybe a little bit more. But, you know, we are talking tremendous distances, even at the closest points, you know, uh, Jupiter to uh, Venus or Jupiter to Mars. We are still talking great distances here. Um, even though there would be uh, definitely effects here, but nothing too tremendous. But it is nice to see the kind of concert that is the solar system. Neptune, you're in a Saturn out there. Pluto and Jupiter in its new home. Now, Jupiter's temperature got up to minus 23 degrees. So, obviously, with all the gas layers, um, there's helium and hydrogen in there as well, uh, among many other uh, gases, and uh, probably a core in there as well, um, there is a lot of insulating capabilities there as well, but you can see the temperature just rising, depending on its position on its orbital path here. So minus 15, now it's on the decline again. So we have the nearer part, so the uh, apoaps off the orbit. Periaps probably about over here, I'd say. And let me just see where the temperature settles at. So I think we got to what, minus 15-ish? Isness, kind of. So I think we're almost at the kind of periaps over here. So minus 23, 24. Minus 23.8, like minus 15.1 there, thereabouts. So there's the temperature fluctuations. And again, the same would be slightly applicable to Earth as well. But again, it would have a lot of heat generated through the stresses of uh, orbiting a planet such as Jupiter. Now the temperature did spike there. Now that could be because the simulation speed wasn't recording it accurately. Minus 18 for Jupiter. As you can see, Earth is coming down here. Hmm. Went up to like my, it went up to like 30 degrees. It was at 17 there a while ago. That's quite a that's quite a change. Let's see what happens if we speed up a little bit here. Let's just keep an eye on Earth's temperature. So as you can see, yes, yeah, the simulation. As we speed up, temperature rises. As we speed come down, temperature is going to decrease as well, I'd say. Let's go back up to about a day. You're going too slow. Yeah, there you go. Look, we're up to... There we go. So yeah, look, it's, it's the simulation. It's just not recording it accurately. Just bring this back down to about a day. I think that seems to be kind of a, a happy enough number. So Earth is sitting at like 40 degrees there for some reason now. <laughs> now it's coming down. 25, 34. So quite toasty. Toasty, toasty, toasty. So yeah. Well, if Jupiter swapped places with Earth. Uh... Yeah, the solar system will go on. We may have, a, we we might have a better view if uh, Earth was able to become a moon of Jupiter. But anyway, yeah, let's kind of do a few more little swap rooms and tests and stuff like that as well. So keep your suggestions coming in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always, and folks, I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.